supposedly this is all supposed to be underwater later this evening, tonight. Because all these waves are going to start pushing over. You can already see what's taking place from damage and stuff from previous storms. And it's starting to get pretty ugly here, folks. wanted to take you for a little tour three blocks from my house of what is really taking place out here like I said this isn't the ocean this is the intercoastal waterway you probably can hear the wind and stuff because we're right on the water see the water isn't but three feet from the road and this will all be underwater later on you won't be able to drive down this road at all it's just amazing at some point tonight as this storm comes in they may get some trees down we're supposed to have between 100 and 120 mile an hour winds so but the winds are already picking up they're probably blowing at about 40 50 miles an hour right now coming off this water NASA is out there, way out in the distance. You can't see it now. This is what we're dealing with. And everybody can really get an idea of how severe even a small hurricane can be to an already battered area. see what is taking place here I only can imagine what the ocean looks like right at this point in time they haven't closed the causeways yet that's supposed to be this afternoon so if people live on a barrier island you may want to make sure that you are doing something to be prepared and ready see some of these docks and stuff and like I said this is the inner coastal waterway the Indian River Lagoon and it's three blocks from my house just amazing folks just amazing you could say the calm before the storm but the storms are already here but it's still 200 and some odd miles off the coast so it really makes you wonder what's coming
boat that's sitting out there that's sunk from the last storm. So somebody's going to have to get that out because there's penalties for that.